A magnitude 6 earthquake awakened people in Taiwan just before 5.30 this morning. The epicenter was off the coast of Ilan County and tremors were felt across Taiwan proper. Less than two hours later, a second earthquake of magnitude 4.6 struck the Suao region of Ilan. The Central Weather Bureau has determined that the two quakes are unrelated. Seismologists warn there could be powerful aftershocks on the way. At 5.28 in the morning, mobile phones went off as the National Emergency System sent out an earthquake alert. A magnitude 6 tembler struck off the coast of Ilan at a shallow depth of 22.5 kilometers. It was felt island-wide, most strongly at Wuta in Ilan, where it reached 6 on the seismic intensity scale. With regard to the earthquake, it occurred along the southern Ilan structure. The southern Elan structure is a fracture zone, and since time immemorial, this fracture zone has experienced frequent major earthquakes. This earthquake was not only powerful, but also shook for an unusually long time. Seismic effects of two or more on the intensity scale were felt in Elan's Uta for 76 seconds and for at least 40 seconds in Taipei and New Taipei. At 7.02, Ilan Suao was rattled by a magnitude 4.6 earthquake that measured up to 3 on the intensity scale. The earthquake at 7.02 was a subduction zone earthquake. It occurred at a very great depth at about 66 kilometers. The CWB says the two earthquakes occurred independently of one another and did not share a direct relationship. One expert argues that the earthquakes may have had more to do with the incoming typhoon. When the typhoon came, when typhoons move in, they typically bring a low pressure system. Low atmospheric pressure tends to lower the pressure on the rock layer below ground. But when there's ocean water sweeping in at the same time, pressure will not decrease in the rock layer below the ocean. This phenomenon can result in an earthquake. The storm may have created contrasting pressure systems in the rock at land and sea, the expert says. The CWB has yet to comment on the hypothesis, although it has warned of aftershocks up to magnitude 6 in the two weeks ahead.